Okay, think about um, finding the derivative of this, kind of like on the tables. Um, so let me, you know, in the table problems where you find the derivative of h on the sum problems. So you have h prime of x at a value is equal to f prime of x plus g prime. Well, that's what this is. Here's a function. When you take the derivative, you're going to take the derivative of this, subtract the derivative of the second one. Okay, so dy dx, or y prime. So there's a negative 5. I'm going to leave the negative 5 there. I'm going to bring this 3 fourths down in front. That's 3 fourths x. And then 3 fourths, subtract 1, or subtract 4 over 4, is negative 1 fourth. Now notice the 3 fourths doesn't have the negative 1 fourth. It's just the x. All right, then we're going to subtract. The 5 is still there. Uh, then we're going to bring that 1 fourth down. So 1 fourth x. So 1 fourth subtract 4 over 4 subtract 1 is negative 3 fourths. And that's just the x piece. So when you simplify that, this is negative 5 times 3 fourths. So that's negative 15 fourths. And then the x to the negative 1 fourth comes down to x to the positive 1 fourth. Or, or you could write it like this, um, negative 15 fourths times the fourth root of x, all right? Then we have negative 5 times 1 fourth, which is negative 5 fourths. And then the x to the negative 3 fourths gets brought down. And either is written like that or is written like this, the fourth root of x cubed. So either either one of these forms is works, uh, but this would be the process.